super camp for. I think this is stream number eight. Welcome back, yeah, mate. It is. Stream eight. Number eight already. Pass me and high run. Where are we off to now? I just Where went are we off to? A swim after sin. Which can get in very far. I had a little hallucination. Still want to know how do they hold their breaths for so long? Oh yeah, the, we need they, to we need to see how long we can hold our breath. Oh, <laughs> how long do you reckon? Have a guess. Not very long at the moment. Like I reckon one minute ten and I will my head reckon? will go through the table. But apparently I've heard it's like it's psychological, isn't it? Apparently if you get past that sort of point of feeling like you can't breathe. It's the burning. Yeah. If you can get past that. Oh, that's good. Hello, peasants. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, Maine. Woo! All right, heave ho. Okay. Let's push on deeper, but before we do, before we do, let's jam to this tune for a bit. Then I want to share this really cool article. The articles. The article is on the psychology of war. Because this is fascinating, especially with how succinctly it ties with 10. Mm. So, this is an article written by Steve Taylor, PhD. Psychology and human behavior, a historian as well. Um, this must be a cool job, really cool job, Being right? So, yeah, but yeah, he, he basically says too. that books on world history usually begin with the civilizations of Sumer and Egypt. Oh, Sumer as in the Sumerian, Sumerian, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, which arose around 3000 BC. From that day until present day, history is little more than a catalogue of endless wars. Have a guess, guys. Between 1740 and 1897, how many wars happened in Europe alone? I'm going triple digits, but I reckon 200 maybe. Ooh. Anyone else got a guess? That's not bad. 230 wars in just that 140-ish year time span. Wow. Uh, yeah. But <clears throat> there's a lot of little wars that you don't hear about. Like this, when you look back through sort of like conflicts between different countries, there's a lot. Yeah. There's a hell of a lot. And it's kind of scary, really. But... Yeah. And, and it begs the question, because that's our immediate history, whether fighting and war is part of the human condition. Mm. And he questions that. Because, well, while wars were very frequent back then and they were less frequent during the 19th and early 20th century, mostly he says because of techni uh, technological increases, it meant there were less wars, but in reality the death toll got through mm. the roof. Yeah. So in that 140 year, 230 war period, in that time, I mean it says only 30 million people died, only. Uh, but then obviously First World War ranged from 5 to 13 million dead and a staggering 50 million in World War II. Mad. Really it's is. Insane. 15. Although I really thought I really thought more people died in World War One. How many died in World Sorry, did you say how five many? to thirteen million, the estimate. With fifty million in the second. Really? I yeah, because they always thought World War One is like the the, the sort of like what they call it, it's got a spit, they give it a name, don't they? But... I thought World War One was more. But anyway, the idea of it is that evolutionary psychologists suggest that it's natural for humans to wage war because we're made up of selfish genes that demand to be replicated. So it's natural for resources, mm. the money, wealth, power, um, and for other groups potentially, uh, other groups potentially endanger our survival. Yeah. So it's a biological mechanism. But what's also kind of cool? Well, not cool, but talks about how it's a unifier of humans yeah. when there's a common threat. Well, I've always, yeah, how much that thing, brings I think you, people together. You sort of hear, don't you? Like you think like different countries are at conflict with each other, but say something came from space. Say it was like Independence Day or something like that, and a UFO came down, mm. and was a threat to the world. Oh yeah, itself. all humans, humans could unite, unite in together. Instant, instant. Yeah. instant. But yeah, it's cool because Albed and the Crusaders, they were like rivals. Mm. I feel like this song's intense as shit. Were a war discussion. Yeah. Pause it. Pause it. <laughs> 
That's almost finished, isn't it? Very intense. Make me feel unsettled. Hello, guys, who's still here? Chandy, ha World War One had rougher, growth, grosser combat because of mm. chemical warfare. Yeah, they were bitten. And trenches. Yeah, yeah I reckon. They used a lot of brutal weapons hell. like that. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. there, there, there's some uh, evolutionary anthropologists who dispute that we are this war-driven species. Uh, and that there is a quite a bit of evidence on their side. For example, last year, anthropologist Douglas Fry and Patrick Soderbergh published study of violence in the 20, uh, in 21, sorry, modern hunter-gatherer groups and found that over the last 200 years, uh, lethal attacks by one group on another were extremely rare, almost non-existent. Uh, and they identified 148 deaths by violence amongst the groups during this period and found that the great majority were the result of one-on-one -on -one conflicts, family feuds. It yeah. uh, wasn't actually anything. Uh, so there's evidence that warfare is only around 10,000 years old and only became frequent, frequent around 6,000. Uh, one problem by bio biological theories of warfare is, while they might be able to explain specific outbreaks, warfare is actually more than this. It's highly planned and organized activity, with mostly conducted... And organizing violent situations, which does not involve a great deal of actual fighting. Oh. Uh, but yeah, on a social level, war delivers a sense of unity. Uh, it binds people together. Uh, and they're kind of talking about whether we're moving out of that now. Mm. And, and that the idea that I really resonated with is that a lot of individuals were drawn to war because there was a higher transcendental. Mm achievement that could be made from it a break from the monotony of life the ability to exhibit traits yeah. of honor and you know, pride and determination and self-sacrifice oh, yeah. and mm. these sort of qualities of you know, skill and the art of it yeah and yeah there's something primal that there's these traits that we're usually very extracted yeah, I mean, from and yeah. we can't really replicate in our lives um yeah or at least in some ways, because they are talking about what the replacements kind of are, and weirdly, one of them that they point out is sports. It's being with the blitz ball, very succinct. And they're saying that as warfare kind of starts decreasing, and they've observed it, sports actually kind of goes on the rise. So we need more sports to keep, keep yeah, world peace. Basically. Basically. <laughs> um, well, as I said, there was some... Juicy. But yeah, that's even why I went on that bikepacking trip. Because I was getting that sense. I was like, there's kind of like these traits, there's these feelings, these, these qualities mm. that kind of can't really attain in our normal lives. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you just got to push yourself into the void and beyond. Or sign up for the army. Or sign up for the army. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's get going. Oh, thank you very much, Vincent. Oh, Vincente. Thank you for doing this for us, guys. Thank oh. you, Mr. Main. Uh, but yeah, perhaps it's not a coincidence. Over 75 years of the steady decline, sports has grown correspondingly in popularity. Uh, the interconnect also they're saying the interconnectedness of us via trade as a species, but also travel. They're saying that I think travel would be a huge element. We're actually starting to see each other's mm. culture and oh, it it helps, within it's... them. And that's also breaking down the, yeah. the massive tribalistic us versus other mentalities. Mm. Uh, and that we may actually be able to return to what we may have once been. Yeah, I think travelling definitely a peaceful, helps. peaceful race. You'd like to see different culture in that and see how other people live and yeah. appreciate stuff. And if you go into open mindedly as well, then yeah. And, and I think, especially the point about hunter gatherers, that when we were still hunter gatherers, we weren't because you can imagine hunter gatherers were vicious as hell. They sort of stone your head in for no reason, mm. and they're like, actually, no. When we were hunter gatherers, I had us make something about seven man, which is you no know, the the central when they were nomadic, shamanic, when they were travelers, wanderers. And I always wonder if humans are supposed to in some way, but that's a part of our natural instinct. Yeah, and then the second we've kind of settled down, that's and I mean, considering these are like legitimate historians mm. of it, kind of yeah. backs it up. Uh, you know, the way 10 presents it and even the way 7 presents it, this is where our violence kind of emanates from. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Psychology is fascinating. This is kind of what I want to make more vids on. Anyway, let's go, go, go. Let's go. Sound on. There we go.
<laughs> you were in contact with Sin again. The toxin. Are you okay? Why, why did that just make my heart leap? Like, Lulu, actually? Yuna was worried about you. It was you as well, Lulu. You should let her know you're all right. You're like, Lulu's warming up. Hide us. Bit by bit. Little by little. <clears throat> A swift retreat. Satisfied? What do you mean? Those who turned from Yevon died, while the faithful live on. Hmm. The past ten years have changed you, I see. Yeah, Oren was a very different dude. <laughs> very different dude ten years back. <clears throat> you do not look so well. But now, more than ever, you must be the people's strength. Their confidence. <clears throat> Anyone else would be expected to show their sorrow. But you are a summoner. You are Spira's hope. Until sin is defeated, you must not relent. Do you understand? Yes. I understand. Are you afraid? Yuna, take me as your pillar of strength. As Yuna Leska had her Lord Zeon. <laughs> Lady Yuna, until next we meet. <laughs> Farewell. I, he, he, he just asked to be smoosh bottom buddies. Smoosh bottom buddies? Yeah. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, Unalesco and Lord Zion, they were, they were a couple. Seymour basically was just like, yeah. be my biatch. <laughs> but what do you think about that little, that little line? Because he kind of says it directly there. You're a summoner. You're yeah. not expected to show emotions like a, another human being. And this is something that Una very, very much lives under the, uh, the umbrella of. Constantly being told that she has to behave certain level of decorum not and to reservation how she feels and her emotions get in the way and yeah and that's mm. you know Titus is very much the other side both of them have had terrible parenting yeah but Titus on the other stream his emotions just pop yeah he, he just let them come out yeah. whereas you know so you you kind of get a sense that Titus is less well-rounded than Yuna but actually when you look a bit deeper mm. Yuna is repressed as all hell yeah yeah why I appreciate Tentu so much uh yeah, this is one thing that we still do today. It really, really pisses me off. We kind of... You can't ignore the teachings. We have this perception that our leaders are supposed to be devoid of emotions. I remember when our Prime Minister, it was Theresa May, didn't like her, but she was stepping down and she was saying a goodbye speech. Oh, well, like her, her leaving speech. And she teared up at the end and cried. Mm. And the news went mad about it. Yeah. She cries. Yeah. She cried? No. How unfitting mm. on the Prime Minister. And it's like, why is it we're thinking that our leaders need to be these expressionless, emotionless human beings? These androids? I think completely opposite. I think... I think so. Yeah. I, I think it's... Part and parcel of the problem is that we seem to think our leaders need to be exempt from humanity. Yeah. We need ones who have more humanity. Yeah, for sure. I want a leader who, when they hear about something catastrophic happening in their nation, their heart is absolutely shattered mm. with the sorrow of it. Leaders who actually have compassion. Well, you can see that they are have emotionally well-rounded. Yeah. Am I crazy? You do get some leaders which tend they're oh, emotional on TV and that stuff, but... I can't even talk to Shalim, that's sad. <clears throat> oh yeah, Yuna's very emotionally stunned. Oh, shut up. Oh, here she is, here she is. <laughs> Maesters are strict. Mm. I guess... I guess I'll just have to do better. I guess... I guess... 
I guess. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what I've got to do. Oh, I think I've got to speak to Oren, right? Is Oren the man? Yes. Sin is checked. Hello again. Yeah. For a while there. Chazza, you big I odd man. Feel him. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I believe you. Sin is checked. He came here for you. So he killed all those people just for a chance to see me? That's what Sin does. He wanted to show that to you. Do you know why? How am I supposed to know? So you would kill him. As long as he is Sin, Jekt will keep killing. He wants you to stop him. You gotta be kidding. How do you know all of this anyway? <laughs> you is not I'm not done talking to you. Don't you run away. inappropriate. You're the one running. Okay. I'll be like, get back here, you cryptic ass yeah. motherfucker. Tell me something. That's laugh but, at the most. Yeah. But Oren hinting there that yeah, sin um, gets kind of emotions are present within sin or at least they have some element of presence within sin okay and that, suppose, how is that's why jake's constantly being drawn to titus and that i suppose in that sense does Jax know that titus hates him that much which i yeah. I, I would heat that up as the question is like is that why jake was such a dick there's some revenge he didn't know he was going to become sin at that point he didn't know and that, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> His dating red flags just waving in the wind. Well, Seymour's. Well, so what was. Are you all right? I've got a question on that that we just went through then. Mm. If Tardos wasn't there, would Sin have turned up anyway? Because the whole, the whole point was that they were supposed to be gathering the Sin spawn there. I, 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 potentially for up. the Sin spawn, but I think the thing is it's mostly just Tardos right. was there. Titus was somewhere else in... May not, but I, I also think it's how much Jax is able to exert over Sin, which my my understanding is a very small amount. It's, uh, it's actually, a, I think there's a song. There's something about a song involved. Hey, you two. Mm. Hurry up. Choppy, choppy. She's awfully cheerful. Come on. In dark times, Whoa. she must be. She must shine bright. Huh? Now are dark times. Juno tries hard. We should help her then. Space. If we Space. worry, she tries harder. Do not frown. That's quite sweet, actually. Like it's the fact that Don't he's worry, actually be happy. warming up to him. Kimari try to smile. Let me see. <laughs> Sad. Uh, Kimari is. It seems like he's warming up to him tired of him. Like, uh, maybe like he's actually speaking. maybe a smidge. Yeah, I think I think Lulu is as well. Um, yeah, they're bonding over. The shared trauma of the experience. Yeah, for those to be <laughs> Kamari's first words. <clears throat> you wanna give me some? Have a little play okay. room. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. How many times? flirts? With Lulu or something? Wait, 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 wait. When does this happen? Yeah, try to replicate Kamari's smile. <laughs> wait, wait, is that true? Vincente? Kamari and Waka share the same voice actor. Ooh. Curious. 
<laughs> yeah, we need to get to the store and this is the Phoenix Dane. I should have my position. Yeah, I was gonna say, are you, are you team tagging? No, I forgot. Are you team tagging? Ginge. Sorry, guys. Naughty. James. Yeah, we also need more Billy Spheres whenever we can. Yeah. Crack, uh, crack a spot to get some. <clears throat> yeah, so one thought I've, have been, I've been having about Sin and being Jet is Sin just one person or is it a collection of. Damn good question, man. Damn good question. Oh, how I wish I was. Also, remember to heal out of combat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not the easiest to do, is it? When you're both on screen. Yeah. Playing the game, but then also trying to compute what the dick is happening in this yeah. wild ass story. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, everyone getting their new uh, overdrives. Mm. It's uh, up in skills. Really yeah, take that lad out. <clears throat> Oh, oh no! 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 What what does any of that mean? <laughs> so how old were you guys when you first played 10? And what was one other thing that was going on at that age? Either a memory, what you were still doing. I... Some of you still wearing diapers. Some of you in primary school. Did you get your first, your first girlfriend and kiss behind the sheds? I think I was... I was 14. I'd finally just got a PS2, so I rushed to the game store. I was like, "Oh, those games called Farm Fantasy I played. I love those. I love them so much. What one shall I play?" I was like, "Final Fantasy." I saw Final Fantasy X Two. I was like, "X Two. X squared. <laughs> the square root of of X. How much Final Fantasy is that?" Wow, that sounds that sounds like more of a distilled Final Fantasy experience because it's X squared. Shit, I'll play that. So I started. I was like, what the? F what's happened to the series? What can I do for you? What can I do for you? <laughs> That's been really jarring. YRP in position. I was like, I was so thrown off. And then I finally realised I was playing 10 2 first before 10. And then people were like, you can't do that, you've got to play 10 first, so I picked it up. And it made more sense. And I played it, and I loved it. Yeah, 14. What, what year would we have been in then? What, what else was going on in life at that age? 14. 14. Um, what year were we? I think at that point I was just going to school, skiving off an awful lot. Um, to yeah, playing a lot of sport. I've got a lot of sports. Oh, it's on a me. flap. Oh, you got that. Have you tagged Tidus already? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Can't even remember what 14 consisted of, honestly. It freaks me out how much my life memory is gone. Gone. Oh, that's what I did. I, f I smoked my first joint on the steps of school. Yeah, that's when I was 14. A couple of naughty kids with uh, bifters, reefer, devil's Is it during school you did that? Well, no, they were outside of school and they were smoking on the steps and I was like, oh my God, I came back with a bag of chips. And they were like, oh, give us a chip. And I they, like, had a few chips. I was like, yeah, keep, keep having some. And they're like, Oh, cheers, dude. Do you want some of that? And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I just felt myself within like, it was, a, it was like a 20 second countdown. I was like, 
<sighs> no time to waste. Let's I feel like go. I lost my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, it's good. <laughs> Just whiting out like fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. I bet that was lost with that. And then the next thing I know, I look down at my, my bag of chips was gone. <laughs> so you, you probably had the munchies and you couldn't even. I walked into school once, I went KFC, you know, KFC was all the way on the other side. Yeah, of yeah. I legged it there on lunch and I came back to um it was drama at the time, that's it. We were doing after school rehearsals for a show. I came back for the bucket of KFC and it was like five o'clock, so no one had eaten since like twelve. Yeah. I walked in, I had thirty people charge me. They just raided my bucket. What arsehole? They did not give a fuck. Awesome. Just little chit. They all sort of sort of loitered around here, a little bit, and then one person nicked the drumstick, and that inspired the others. And that—that's when I saw the real nature of humans yeah. for the first time. I saw the evil that exists. It's terrible thing to do to someone. I had only, I had one thigh. That was that was my takeaway. Sad. <laughs> so, I was nine years old. My sister left me at one of her friends' house because uh, all alone with a bunch of adults. And there was this one dude playing tang and I was so scared and alone. It helped me feel better. When you say a bunch of adults, I'm, I'm imagining a room full of adults. But there's, there's one guy playing Ken. What are the others doing? What was happening? Oh, yeah, I didn't even consider that actually. What's up? Yeah, Waka is drawn towards Titus because he reminds him of Chippewa. So, what is it for Lulu? Look. Rakesco says has feelings or anything, but she could think he's cute. Titus. Oh. Well, she's pretty hostile. Well, I think she's very hostile towards anything Chippewa related. I think that's Lulu's coping mechanism. Just to kind of take the stoic route with it. Mm. What is that thing? Oh, don't really. Woo! Try to get you stoned, man. Mm. Oh, Shaz was about 16 or 17 when I watched Friendly Split. I was in the baby years of being emo. And we used to wag school to hide out at her place in game. How many emos did we have up in the house? Emos? Yeah. I never went through that phase. I don't know, what, what phases did you guys go through as teens? I went through a bit of a grunge, grunge phase. Yeah, you did. You tried, you tried to hang out with skateboarders. What do you mean pick up, to hang out with pick... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> tried. But like, like you, you definitely <laughs> failed. <Right. laughs> I don't know, maybe I had a bit of a chappy dingus phase, but not, not majorly. You, know you didn't know where you were, really. I was just kind of amorphous, man. I was an amorphous blob. I was a flan. I was an emo until now. Ooh. See, it's okay when you say it as a teen, but when you develop it as an adult, that's tougher. Because usually, usually when you become an emo in adult life, it's because you've actually kind of had genuine life experience to turn you that way whereas with the kids you're just doing it because you yeah rebel against your parents yeah. or school <laughs> that's a that's a still emo are you actually rocking pink hair I feel like I see a profile pic with a bit of Very sad. Oh no, oh, yeah, you've been, you've been sleep negate. Get Titus out of there. Oh, I, I would overdrive, overdrive some. What is he seeing again? Combo. Oh, that's what I can do. Oh no, oh, no, I thought, oh, you've got to, ah, uh, sorry, we've got to equip their new overdrives, I think. Oh. We can't, we've got to do it outside of combat, I think. Yeah, just do Dragon Fang. Oh. 
Now. Yeah, we do need to change it. Oops. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what that looks like. He says he's one of the kind of classy modern goth guys now. I don't know what that looks like. But to be fair, Shazza, with your pink shit. Oh. Shite. Bull sex. Um, I haven't got any Phoenix Downs either, but we have. Let's just get Orange to tank it all. Go on. You're gonna one man band it? Yeah, he could do it, couldn't he? Go for it. Find out. <laughs> but yeah, I, I've been looking to do something crazy with my appearance, and I'm going as far as. This is, this is how well I'm going with it. Thinking about having a haircut. He's yeah. I'm talking about it. No, I'm genuinely actually kind of considering either make, turning my whole head purple. Uh, someone suggested a streak of pink. Maybe some blue frosty. I don't know. Anything's going to make me look like a wanker, but. Side of me that just wants to do something nuts. Get some more tats. Start wearing nail polish. Go back to black. You should. Yeah. I feel bored looking at myself. <laughs> Hello, bring back 2000's frosted tips. Let me have a look. Two th <laughs> I'm actually going to type 2000's. Frosted tips. No, this is what I should do. I should get. Uh, I remember. Was it Dustin Timberlake when he he had his noodle head? He went through his noodle head phase, where he looked like he had a bowl of instant noodles on his head. On his head. Right. I might go for that. No, I'm. I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for that. A Zoolander. That's it. That's Zoolander, right? Who's that? <laughs> yeah, that's that for me. Got blue steel. <laughs> uh, men's crazy hairstyles. Are you winning? Sort of. That's it. I'm going to go for this. One of those. One of those, please. You got me, Barber. Wait, that's not that. That can't be. That's the telling in his head. <laughs> Look at this hairstyle! Look at it! Should I go for that? <laughs> Is that actually real? Has someone actually managed to... <laughs> I don't know why I called the stream this title. We are so totally screwed. I think it's because of our builds. But... I mean, Actually, do it, Pen. Oh, rock it. Wait, wait. wait. Go purple. All right, I'll, I'll show you the. Uh, I'll show you the legit purple hairstyle. Ah. Uh, I'm just gonna grow it really long on the front. This was the one. Hey, how much longer till Xanarkand? Still a ways. First down the moon flow to the Guado city of Guado Salam. Guado Salam. Then we cross the thunder plains to the temple of Makalania. Oh, Off to Macarena. Oh, she's... Oh. <laughs> and before that, we get to pray at the temple in Jose. We can't just skip all that, can we? Huh? I thought she was running off. Mm -mm. I have to pray to the faith in every temple in order to earn the final A. That's a summoner's Gat training. Gatang Temple. She's got to prepare mind and body, all just to get ready for the final summoning. Hmm. Must be tough, Yuna. 
<laughs> I'll be fine with you here. Oh. Oh. This is the one, guys. The legit one. Again. You reckon I can pull that off, Ginge? One of those. One of those. Yeah, you could. Yeah. yeah. Well, you could. well, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> You're being facetious. No. So I look like an absolute. Hey, new guy. Me? Who else? What can I Who do for you, boss? Who you, Titus? Don't oh, tell oh, Yuna. You know about Sin and Jack. You know her. <laughs> she would distance herself from you. We do not want that. I see. I think. Yeah, but even if I did say something, no one believed me, you know? Yuna would. Ah, you have a point. Yeah, Yuna would. Come to think of it, you, you did I really spot. have to know about Jekt? What about my feelings? Better than you finding out at a critical moment, becoming emotional. What? Me? Emotional? Boy. <laughs> I heard you were quite the crybaby. Yeah, maybe when I was a kid. <laughs> maybe even a little now. Just a little. Look, it's okay hey, to cry, all right? I still don't buy your story, you hear? Will everyone stop roasting on crying? It's fine. <laughs> it's all right. Will the beard be purple too? See, that's the problem with dyeing your hair when you've got eyebrows. No, you need to leave it. Beards. It the beard brown. Sometimes it looks. It looked dumb. Also, it would grow up really quick. Wait, wait. How did Lucille survive? I thought she led the charge. You know, it is good to see you and your companions are well. Oh, Yourselves as well, Captain. We were worried. How did Lucille survive the incineration? <sighs> We escaped with our lives, monkeys. but our troops They're gonna were bite, decimated. Bite his arm. Of all our chocobos, only this one made oh, it. That's a sad chocobo. We make pretty poor chocobo-mounted forces without chocobos. We turned our backs on the teachings and cast away our faith. This, this is our just reward. I mean, what the hell? Oh, they're following. Man. Got this. Attack him! You only got a cream puff. The, the stupid thing is, right? Is that the Jose mm. Temple? Yeah, we go, Jose. When we went to Fifi Island, right? Were there not screens of Monkey Island? Oh yeah, they have. People. And there, and there were people, There were videos of tourists going there, and there's monkeys jumping on their heads. They're like m touching the monkeys, messing with them, putting their arms out. The monkeys yeah. are are climbing, and yeah, but they were like. That's fun. I like they're advertising it. Now I didn't even go near monkey. I, I mean, awesome. Monkey knew. Monkey knew. He's like, that's fun, fantasy peasant. I'm gonna end his career. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna end this man's career. Oh, Lucio's got bot armor. Why? It only opens when a summoner is addressing the faith. That means another summoner's already in there. Got the same one. Another summoner. Another. What if it's Donna? Donna. We, we have to hurry. <laughs> right. The in disdain in Titus' face. Yeah, what's wrong with Donna? Is it Donna? Donna. Donna's an absolute gem. Yes, let's uh, let's stock. Let's stock. Oh, okay, fuck you let's then. Stick on the floor. Oh no, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Let's get some Toy effect. Yeah, there. Yeah, see. Oh, what of the twenty thirty is charging uh, extortion prices? That's it. Pump those up to. Look at twenty of them bitches. Yeah, yeah, we got enough money. Uh, yep, that's fine. If you go out of that, I think we also got a. Stock up on some weapons now. Or be better weapons. I think get some pretty good ones now. Uh, nope. An extra 2%, not really. I, I, I'm very much a Scrooge. I'm a yeah. very Scroogey motherfucker. At the end of the game. Yeah. 
With all my inventory and all my money. Yeah. Yeah. But you're just uh, spend, spending that much money for an extra 2%. Really I'm like, I'm like, nah, man. Never buy weapons from vendors in games anyway. Ah, defense. Nice. Who want that? All of those. So have we not got stuff we haven't equipped to Oh, Tip yourself up. Actually, yeah. Go, go have a look. Go have a look. Um, oh, uh, no, no. If you come out of that. Oh, there we go. No, no, no. Oh, go. Where's she? Is it an item? I didn't even realise you could just do auto. Well, it's a, it's a quip. Oh, uh, quip. You could try the auto thing. Yeah. Go through it that way. Oh, yeah. Fire blade. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Defense plus suit. Oh, that's what you got another moment. Magic defense. Maybe just go with defense. The magic. Mm. Oh, Monkey must have been a viewer who was upset you didn't finish Yakuza's Air Hero. <laughs> Why do you. He has a remarkable way, James. He has a remarkable talent for just. Finding that shiv that yeah. is sort of sticking in my side in the and then just, yeah, giving a little twist. <laughs> um, what, rod, <laughs> what rod should you be on? Is, is that one better? Have so, you got that one on at the moment? Uh, now, what the, what the hell is distill speed? No. Stick it on. Oh, That's distilled distill speed. speed, yeah. Distilled speed. Let's get you oh. speed. I thought you could do some. Yeah, no, actually 10% HP is pretty good. That's okay, yeah, yeah. Go for that. <clears throat> Woo! We are. Um, yo, what is the steel speed? Ah, oh, I think the steel speed makes enemies drop. Oh, okay. Speed. 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 Oh, okay. <clears throat> I feel like uh, I feel like we need one more mod. Mm. I want you guys to uh, type the greatest piece of advice you ever got. Type the greatest piece of advice you ever got, and based on the ones that come through, the best one will become the next mod. It's a good way of deciding, right? Yeah, I think so. Come on, man, Sorry. get done with the equipping. Yeah, but I'm trying to go through it. And don't rush me. <laughs> I'm just trying to work out a thing. Ice strike on. Yeah. Titus. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Well, we, yeah, we'll, we'll buy the same thing. We'll buy the defense ones. Uh. uh yeah. No, nah. just that. Yeah. yeah, I think we could buy a defense one and then just find the walker. Lightning strike. You want to go lightning strike? Let's just see what what's, what's the like. Sensor. Yeah, go for that. Yeah, leave that off. Yeah, and now just buy the other folk. The defense five bangles. <clears throat> Oh, actually, I'm wrong. Strike speed is the one that makes enemies. Uh, speed Which feels? Am I buying it for? Sorry. Uh, it, it, it buys them automatically for the person. You just go. Right, go it. Oh no! I said no on equip. Shitty. <laughs> uh. No, you're not getting replaced, those snakes. Well, I don't think you are, anyway. Nah. Those snakes is... Those snakes you're is doing good. a stellar job. Good lad. Good lad. Who did I not just equip? The boxy... Uh, Him? Yeah. Nice. Uh, overdrive. Yeah, let's go... Orange... Get worry on him. I think it was just stoic. Pilots. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Oh my lord. The, the, 
There's a lot of housekeeping in this game. Housekeeping! Housekeeping! Actually, I've got a lot of level one, level one spheres now. I think we can make an interesting break the character. Oh my god, more HP on Orin! You want me to do that? You want me to do a manscape ad? Yeah. So yeah, well, well actually we're gonna, after I go to the hospital today, we're gonna have a little uh, review of 10 so far. Um, we've, mm. we've brought a lot of points to the forefront. That sort of jumped out to each of us. Yeah. But, uh, I know, I'd love your guys' insights. What's the main, one of the main themes that jump out to you with 10 now? Because for me, I've been, I was saying it yesterday, weren't I? I was like, since playing 10 again, thinking about it again, the main theme that's coming through to me, maybe it's you know, a projection of a theme that's been in my, my, my personal life a lot, is that theme of detachment. There's a lot of detachment in this yes. game, but it, it kind of takes it on in a way that's a lot more expressive and nuanced than I typically find. Say if I was to read something on detachment from Buddhism or Stoicism or whatnot, they kind of... Bitch! Move! Move to the... Oh, she doesn't have enough S level, that's why. <laughs> Got moved for there. Um, but they're kind of like very old sort of texts, bit, bit old yeah. language. Oh yeah, it's um, a different time, isn't and it? And there's not entirely a lot of relatability. I feel like mm. pen comes stonking in. The ones yeah. that just make it really, really relatable. But little things that you've got to detect. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like a lot of old texts. Societal do. pressures, response yeah. like duty pressures, how you still live up to your duty, but how you How you show up that yeah. in an authentic way. Yeah. Everything with letting go of your conditioning from your upbringing, your parent. Yeah, so that is one thing from really older cool. sort of older texts is they come from a different time and they do come. They were from a time where we didn't have the technology and we I have think these days. And any of these kind of things, they all they all need updating, man. Yeah. But some people yeah. think they like everything needs them. updating, and that's that's the one thing that I I, I don't want to get heated with this, but I always think about you and Meribras and your constitution, like, I'm so hard on your constitution. Huh? And it's, it's fantastic. It's, it's something that most nations, so there was a lot we were, we were watching about why we should be proud to be British. You know, this Western culture, while there is a lot of bloodshed and a lot to be ashamed of and a lot mm. of terrible things have happened. Actually, we're standing right now as some of the best examples of democracy and liberation that humanity has ever had. And yeah. there's only to be proud of that. Doesn't always feel like it. But, but we need to be obviously mindful of oh, dark attack. I feel like actually a second dark attack would be not not as bad, to be honest. In this way. Well, I don't know, like li little things like guns, for example, when your constitution wrote those in, but they wrote it at a time when it would take bloody 30 seconds to reload a musket. <laughs> but, yeah, they just, yeah. I don't want to go that way. Maybe laugh about the new Predator film that's out, actually. I think I've mentioned that oh, before. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. Oh, you need to watch it. It's Is it pretty I, good. I'm hearing good things about it. It's better than some of the newer films I brought out from the Predator series. So. Alright, I'm, I'm actually. I'm done with doing the sphere grid for a sec. <laughs> I'm done. I'm out. Let's just. Let's go in and get some juice. Life advice that people can give him for the next mod. Don't ever give up, but take healthy breaks. I like that. You've got two children in life. You can be the kind of person who sits on their ass and waits for good things to come to them. The advice who takes control and get shit done. Play direct. I'd say I like that, but I feel like I'm the I'm the former person. Oh, get us there. Check me out. He's Grand Red, mate. Where is he? I found him. But he was 
torn in half. I... That idiot. What? What do I do now? I've never actually I seen this scene. Do this. Can you not? I'm going back to Bissane. Damn. Gatter. Gatsby have an ox. Don't ever hide who you truly are. Don't try to be someone else for other people. Until you're comfortable with your own skin and happy with yourself. You'll never be happy with other people. That is a very, very profound true true. Uh, I have also found to be very, very true. I like that. I like all of these. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I very think... I think, do. I, I, are you ready to arise, sir? The men. So you're a champion. Of are you ready? Now, do you reckon he's ready? I have a read through. Yeah, I have a read through. Ooh. Oh, it's a kind of cool character. I see your Isaru, if I remember. May I ask your name? I am Summoner Yuna from the Isle of Besaid. As I thought. The daughter of Lord Braska. You have the look of your father. My father? You knew him? No. I have never met the man. Ah, my apologies. Look at Sarah's bodyguard on the right. I am a summoner. Like you. That's why I I'm Bussy. Why do you think Kamari came and blocked off between Parse and I'm Moroda. I'm guarding my big brother here. Mm. Plus, he's a little nutter who tear your face. Oh, yeah. Busy like Basta. him. Oh, yeah. What's his name? I wished I would someday What's become a high scholar like he was. By the UFC. You must have some of your father's talent oh, yeah. in you. I believe you might someday defeat Sin. What's his name? I... I'm not really. I've only just become a summoner. No of course, I've no intention of losing either. So perhaps we should race to see who can defeat Sin first, no? Oh, yeah. Very well then. We began with hate. I accept your challenge. Isaru! Yuna, I beg your leave. Good luck to both of us. To... Yes. Oh, you're watching these scenes closely, sir. Yeah, I am. This is all for you. Yeah, basically MMA is doing something crazy right now. MMA is becoming a clown show. Um, we're trying to find his name, but in, in my search for it on my top article is four foot tall dwarf beats female porn star in MMA fight. <laughs> uh, what's his name? Oh, this is it. Hasbala. Hasbala. Yeah. Pache so is like a little Hasbala. So you guys know Hasbala, right? He's that, that old man who, is he's he old? old, but he, yeah, he's old. He's a fully grown adult. How he looks it? like a child. Where is it? They've just signed this guy up to the UFC. He's now a UFC fighter. Th this guy. Hasbala has become a UFC fighter. He stands in. At a tremendous, I think, like two foot two and weighs somewhere in the region about 50 pounds. Let's go! That's good, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Here he is with his belt. Here he is. He's holding the title, yo. What the hell, man? So that's past now. Hands below is gangster as fuck. I thought that until I saw him freaking out over a rail because he's scared, of, he's terrified of heights. Though actually, I don't know why I say that diminishes his toughness. I'm terrified of heights and I'm the toughest guy you know. Hey, you. Hi. Me? <laughs> you are Yuna's guardian, no? Moroda's heard a curious rumor. Simply because I'm the only I guy you know. I <laughs> thought you should know. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I heard it from those crusaders. <laughs> Seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just summoners disappearing. Been going. It could just be the fiends got them, but not so many so quickly. Sorry, I don't know more. 
but watch your back. Ain't much future for a guardian, future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? Hey? Mm. What? What? What you all talking about? We're talking about doing your job. We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. Hey, I'm doing good. Right, big brother? He's the worst. Please be careful. Please be careful. Will do. Children in anything are the worst. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, what? We're leaving. We're leaving. Actually, except for He's except right for there. Treyas. Treyas. Yeah, Treyas. Although he has his brassy moments as well. The Cloister of Trials. Oh no, great, great kids are in video games. Prepared. Kid being basically anyone under 13, let's say. Wait, I, I don't even know if a How old was Atreus? He's above 13 now. All right, in the guardians, one. at attention. We are ready. He's aged a fair We are ready. Bit. All right, let's Voices. do it. Ah. Why'd you say it like that? Is this one of the worst ones? Oyster. Oh, trials. Oh. It's the fear of God into me. Hasbullah is a honey badger. Honey badger's violent as hell. <laughs> hey, uh, I was actually going to say Ellie, but embarrassingly I forgot her name. I was going to say Els from Last of Us. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, is she like 14? Oh, um... I just remember the best kid from a video game of all time. If you got, if anyone knows this kid character, you will 100% agree. Hamawana. Oh. Hamawana. What a character. I don't know who that is. I'll have to play you a video later. <laughs> Oh, we actually, we had, uh, Ico. Well, I'm still looking at kids in video games. This is the entirety of the list. This entirety of the list. I'm just going to go through it. The Alice from Alice, Alice's Adventure in Wonderland. Alma Wade. I don't know who that is. Who knows who that is? Atreus, Baby Bonnie Hood, Billy Blaze, Bowser Jr., Ico Carol. Ico's. Yeah, Ico's, I. Uh, K.O. from Sonic Their Job. Clementine from Walking Dead. Oh, I do know Clementine. Commander King, Conquer the Squirrel, Diddy Kong. Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake? Do you see Nathan Drake as a kid at some point? Emily Caldwin, Flowey, Heather Manson, Ice Climber, Inkling, Ash Ketchum, Alex Kidd, Kirby, Kitten, Kittridge, Hello Kitty, Banoa, Oofklings, Lev, Lev from The Last of Us, who was that? Was that, uh, was that Joel's daughter? Liquid Snake? Yeah. Is he a kid? In MGS5 you see him as a, as a kid. I know of Liquid Chris. I've just done that. We just reset it. Did that reset it? Or just <clears> into <throat> a different area? Yes. <laughs> yes. C. Uh, I'm going to quickly finish this list while Ginge struggles. Lucius, <laughs> Magurna, Mega Man, Misty, Nanako, Nanako. Oh, Nanako! Nanako Dojima! How did we forget? Nanako is the best. Hands down. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> I've been sent back! And I like to think about it. I think about it! <laughs> Shit happened, man. Harappa? Pichu? Realm Arrow Knee? Realm was basic, she was a painter. In, uh, six. 
Ridia. Child Ridia. List of Henry characters. Haruka. Haruka Sawa. Sa Shawamura. Who is that? I feel like I know this is it. Sawamura. Haruka Sawamura. Snow White, Spyro, Sunny, Tails, Togepi, Zidane Tribal. Zidane Tribal ain't a kid, man. What the fuck? Vivi? Actually, Vivi counts. Vivian, Marlene Wallace, and Princess Zelda. Marlene? Of course. Of course. Grill? Yeah, Krill from Fire. I actually. Krill big time. Ken from Persona 3. Yeah, I really need to uh, <clears throat> play Persona 3. Well, I was going to put Persona 3. I think I did put Persona 3 in the poll. Did I just no, play it? Um, I don't think you did. No, did I leave it off? Cause, yeah. Oh, because I had uh, the other DMC game. His name I keep forgetting. Not Gun Hearts 5. Soul Hackers, isn't it? Soul Hackers 2, that was it. I was close. I was very close. Do you need, to, do you need me to pay my attention with you? You might do a bit, because I'm right. just sort of fanning it, mate. Alright, so you touch I've the already... glyph. Touch... Right now. Yeah. Alright, maybe not. <laughs> I've already charged up the glyph. So I've already done the electricity bit here, and it's charged up one of the... Yeah. It's come down on there. Do you have to touch the glyph? No, not that glyph. The, can you touch glyphs up there? I don't think you can. Alright, so take the uh, orb out of the door. Out of the door? Uh, we've got Jose Spheres. What are the two kind of spheres in there? That's the Jose Sphere. And the other one as well. They're all just... They're all Jose Spheres. They're all Jose in. Yeah, that one uh, I think has been charged up. Do you need to push the platform to somewhere? Don't take them out. Is this bit down here, does yeah. that reset? I don't know what it does. Or do I have to take this? Did you did you push the that over here? I push that to see. No, I push it over to this bit at first because it charged up this orb I've got. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then you push it to the middle. And when I stepped on that thing, it reset it back to the middle. So. Alright. Every day is great. Oh, I need to listen to it. Oh, well, actually, I'm using I need one. to listen to it. I need to listen to it. Oh, you. Oh, that's already done that before. Yeah, done but that. I think I've just worked. May I've worked out what's going on? Yeah. I know you. Better you than me. I'm actually going into a coping mechanism right now. Oh, yeah. Because course of trials. I'm not looking at the chat. Makes me want to die. Any. Makes me want to slowly die, so. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go to Juness. Fifteen second ad. I hate when people put ads in their videos. Here we go. What did you do? Put the charge sphere into the door one. I'm thinking about doing that first. Nice. Smart lad. Oh, do I have to put a bulb in there? Good job. And now that's open. Oh, I see what to do. Yeah, let's let's mute this. Let's get some. Uh, we're gonna do close of trials to a Juness music. See if it totally changes the vibe. And maybe I'll reconfigure my trauma with it, because the music is who well. Like, like, you suck, you suck, you suck, boom, boom. Is that what you suck? Yeah, that's how my brain works. Go on, Ginge. <laughs> All right, the dancing, it's the game. How much clearer are you able to think? No. Is it helping? Go on, Jim. Let's break my Mac. 
Uh, I really want to play dancing all night now. It's too far. Yeah, we're fucked up. Alright, shut up. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't. I actually do. I actually despise the song. <laughs> oh. What's this? Oh, I messed it up again. I don't, can you guys even hear the music? We're not. I don't even hear it. Wait, were you guys not hearing any of it? <laughs> I thought my mic could pick it up. Eh? Um, it's breaking up for us. Shy. Yeah, I thought it. It's got to be on your stupid laptop. Let's go. Stupid laptop. Stupid laptop. Liar. Yeah, we're going to go for a different, a different vibe, ambiance with this cloister. This is the one. <clears throat> what do I have to do next? Um, Who knows, man? Can we to give it a go? I'm just trying to work out the next bit. Oh, I uh, see so you... That. You push it into the electricity. I've done that. And it didn't do anything. Um... you push it with both the balls on? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know! <clears throat> oh, no, you've got to switch the electricity off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so take the, the charge door back the door? No, it takes the, um... It, take, it shuts the door. The door comes back down again when you do that. Does it? Well, can't you, can't you... Wedge the pillar in there? <laughs> um... Is that what you're no, no. Actually, maybe. Nah, that's... I'm pretty sure that's not what you've got to do. Okay. Well, yeah, that's the... That's the door control, so... Give it a push. That's it. Is there, is there an orb on that side? Where that ends? Is there a recess? Nice. Push, push that, that way? You've done that already? Yeah, just get stuck. Uh, yeah. Oh, um... Can you cut the electricity from, uh... I mean, there's another glyph glowing here, but I don't know if that's anything. I, I can't, man. I, I don't have a fucking clue. Let me ask. Let me have an intuit, intuit. Let me have an intuit. We've got a couple of spheres back there. Door here. You're so close. Stick in oh, anything. Oh, oh. How close? Back in here. I don't want him to get it now. Putting anything back in here is not going to do shit, right? Unless... Oh, I could do it. Can we charge up more than one? I'll put the other one in. How did you, how did you charge this one up? Actually, go back Go back to the um, thing on the left. Stand on the... Just reset the pin. And yeah. then take the other sphere out of that one. Yeah. And put it back in the thing. I wonder if the transfer of electricity will be... Oh, this electricity thing up on the right again. Put this where? What here? On the second one. Yeah. That works. I've done anything. No. Okay. I thought we might have turned that off, but it hasn't. Yeah, well, can you can you charge more than one orb? No. It's not started up again. <laughs> but if you stick a normal orb in that door, it don't do jack shit. Oh, the orb on the other side of the door, on the left side. Do you want to do no. something there to keep it open? Does that wedge it? Well, at least it. I'll put in the thing underneath the door. No, that can't be it. That's not it. 
You don't, you don't wedge it with the pillar. I feel quite... Don't be looking at the chat, you piece of shit. I'm, not, I'm just looking at the chat. <laughs> I'm just looking at Shad, the same test just seen in the controller. They, they... Rude. Well, no, it's a team effort, and you I'm can't, you can't do the, clo me. you can't do the cloister unless you, you feel it. There's another set of glyphs on the floor, so I don't know. Yeah, you do that, and then you go boop boop poo, electric boogaloo, magoo. Ready for some crazy shit to happen? We've done it. No, I've done that before. Did I put in the other or back in the um, well, actually, did, other side? Did doing, that, did doing that power up something here? We can click something. Grab the left door back the door. Oh, sorry about that bit. And just put it on the other side. No, not that bit. No! Grab that one on the left. Not that one. That's going to shut the door. What are you saying on the That's left, the you penis? Let's see your left. The orb on the left. Grab the one at the one on the That's left. <laughs> and then put it on the other. Put it on the plinth, and then. We've just done that. Yeah, I know, but maybe push it into the electricity. <laughs> I can't. Actually, no. We can't, man. Try it. <laughs> are you trying it anyway? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it doesn't work. It's moved. <laughs> I don't know. We've we've been here. Push it in. Just push it. It through. doesn't push in. It pushes in. There you go. All right, we did it. Ah, oh, 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 I see you. No. Oh, I see you, crispy P. But I mean, Chris, no, naughty. I didn't see that at all. I naughty, didn't see Chris. That. I actually didn't You're a see naughty, that. naughty, dirty dicked boy, Chris. I actually didn't see that. Push who orbed into the pillar. Yeah, but I did in. that before anyway. You we saw. pushed it around the corner. Chris, you're a dirty I didn't, dick. Honestly. You're a dirty dick. Well, I know I didn't look, so. <laughs> but all we did last time was put the two orbs in it and put it in the corner, so it's. Fair enough. And we need the sand back on as well. Yeah. Christ, that was painful. Ah, but the cloister trial is at least done. Oh, um, you keep going, I'll go. When I say it's done, I mean it's only just beginning. Was there more? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Someone spoiled before, bruh. Chris, am I going to have to sit you on my naughty knee and tell you that two wrongs don't make a right? <laughs> but at the same time, bless you, because... Well, I was going to say you had an intention to help, and like that's a kind thing. Hmm. Uh, I want to help the boys. Yeah. Like, he could have also just been sat there like, you fucking idiots. Oh, my God. Look, who's the pillar in you? Oh, he... Imbeciles. No. Anymore. It'll be fine. Woo woo woo! <clears throat> Let's see it. We go, oh, no. we've just gone up to 80 people watching. Let's pump the like button. Let's everyone do it. So we've got 15 likes now. Every single person push it. And based on how many push, we'll know they're the ones actually listening versus the ones who just play it? us in the background. So I supposed to jump back? And piss off. No, it wasn't, was it? Ross is even more. Um, how, how, down here how are we back in this state, man? Because it glyph on the floor um, um, came up. There's a new glyph on the floor, so I thought it was back in here again. Or do I actually have to be in the other room still? Uh, sh surely, so that... surely that glyph is lighting up that line that wasn't previously lit, which goes to the left of uh, the door. Okay. So I, th I think maybe you've opened something on the left side? Yeah, that one. So that one there's... Also, this little symbol that's forming on the floor. Very important symbol. At least some. No, I think that's... 
Well, that's, that, that's now glowing. Yeah, but that line is going from, a, look, can you see it trailing from... Oh, all the way to the other side. Is there something in there I need to grab? Let's have a look. I hate the curse of trials, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. I hate, 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 hate them. I want to die. I want to die. Can you jump back over? Oh, you can. I mean, none of that makes sense. What? How the hell did Paradis not just get mad electrocuted? Wait, so did you take a sphere out of there? No, you just push the um, thing in and it made this little rune here at the front. The little one. Glow. Right. Glow right, right, right. So... so... I feel like I need to reset this and get these other spheres back. Yep, that makes sense. But... I don't feel like I need that thing in that door. Oh, no, no, are you sure you can't? No, yeah, you pushed the plinth to light it, but you don't need the Jose sphere in it. The Jose sphere over there. There isn't one in there. Is there not one in that plinth over there? No. Have you put one in there? No. Have you tried putting one in there? No. Give that a shot. But if you can't. Why? Because you need two spheres in the thing to go into the electricity. And if you take that other one out, it's going to close the door so you won't be able to get in there, so... Shit. <laughs> um. it's a Chris! Line. How, how do I get down there? Chris! Help us, Chris! Yes. Oh, is it something to do with that one? Oh, wait. It's... Okay, I think it works. Shaz has just sat on the couch, putting off gaming for us. Uh... <laughs> yes, Shazza! This is oh the chainsaw killer's back. She's putting off playing games herself to watch us fumble and fumble. Oh. oh, we need to make the whole symbol flashy flashy glowy woo. Good. Good job, son. We've done it. We have done it. Yeah, I, I don't particularly like the music in these places either. What makes you feel too? Yeah, this spins me out a bit. Um, mm. There you go, and then I grab that one out. Yeah. Put it on the other side. Legend! Right, now, now I'm going to reveal to you that the whole time throughout all of these cloisters, I've always known yeah, I thought you would the traps, and I just wanted to uh, play along with not knowing. I was going to say, give you, you the playing, authentic cloister experience. If you played the game three times through at least, you should have known. Oh yeah, if I'd have played it three times through and I didn't know the cloister, that would make me an absolute moron. Let's go, man. Actually, I wouldn't put that past you. What? To be that just To be that step on, finish your sentence. To remember. Finish no, your original sentence. Just... Just... Left on, left on schnock bugger. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't put it past you to be that stupid. No, just not to remember that sort of thing. Like, I don't know why. Um, oh, there's more, isn't there? Did you just push all these in then? Why is it not? Go, Have you considered what kind of summon we're going to get in this temple? Um, Rama? Good guess, good guess. But oh, there I does mean... exist another thunder uh, oh. summon within the world of Final Fantasy. Well, I have seen them before, though. No. Oh. Actually, oh. you kind of would have. But only because, well, you played 15, Rama had it as his star in 15. Hmm. Or at least a part of it. It was a big curved horn. <clears throat> I am so hungry. Hmm. Abaruski is proud of you. I'm proud of me too. To start a fight, pairs the cloister isn't worth it. You're right, man. You're bigger than the cloister. 
But also, again, fuck Lulu, fuck Waka, fuck everyone. Yeah, where have they all been? Yeah. You should try to settle down. Yuna will be blamed if anything happens. We're officially a guardian now. The first two times made sense. Wait. Well, Donna. well, you again. Still traveling with quite the crowd, I say. Did you just chuckle at her camel toe? What is it, Bartel? Is that what got you you know okay. this riffraff? You are. Are it, no? What of it? Can I shake your hand? Aren. No, sir, Aaron. What is that? You're the reason I became a guardian. Why is he flexing? <laughs> yeah, but hello, he, he's a good lad. He's a good boy, but he's definitely on a spectrum. Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Brasco Riffraff. <laughs> And you call yourself Ooh. a summoner? See, wouldn't it be good if Donna and Lulu Bartellum, enough. Get back just had a slap <laughs> off just then? Hang in there, buddy. Eh? <laughs> I, I feel like they had the idea for it because like Lulu and Donna like stand off a set and they flash the lightning. Yeah. I feel like he should have got claws out. Quite the show, yeah? Not so good but Donna just market. slaps Lulu, and then Lulu just straight all just summoners are like you, pulls guess. her fats. I mean, that's a lot of this. Some of us are a bit dickish, aren't they, in this game? Oh yeah. Really, you know, oh yeah. But power's gone to their head a bit too much. And... Different summoner song. Oh yeah. It's I swear, a... I'll never wash home. this hand again. Please touch me with that hand, and I'll remove it. Stop pacing around. Be calm and wait. Mm -hmm. Pick spot. Shut up. Wait. You grow stronger, but I'm wait, wait. still a pup. What made Kamari swap to speaking? Did Kamari go through some sort of internal arc? Maybe. You know didn't know that. If Does anyone have a theory on why Kamari randomly started talking? Other than what? Walk out. Bartello is a cut. God damn, man. It's such a harsh word. <laughs> Ooh. You owe Ooh. much to your father. All these guardians. And Sir Oren, too. And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. I am traveling on my own as a full-fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? Then try standing on your own two legs for once. Yo, is Donna and Bartello in Mobius? Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. Yo, guys, check this out. This looks absolutely wild. Don see, I'm, I, I, I thought in my head I hate Donna so much. But I want to change that, so... I wanted to see a different picture of... Ah, oh, it's really blurry. But yeah, we've got Ixion. Ixion is the other. I've not heard of that one before. It's really blurred, guys, but check out Donna and Bartello in this. Woof! Woof! <laughs> Donna pretty hot. Bartello's also looking not like a total goon. <laughs> I find this picture in better detail. Is that from the um, game? Well, it's saying, it saying Mobius. But, ah, there we go. Much clearer. Clearer <laughs> shot. That is what a remade Donna would look like. Let's get it. Yeah, Actually, I think that is legitimate Mobius artwork. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. She kind of looks like a. Uh, uh, We're leaving once you get here. Who was the fox here. chick who threw the spear? No matter how in the night, and it travelled really far, and then if it hit you, it would mush you into the ground. No. Nidalee. Nidalee. Yeah. Yeah. 
Donna has niddly vibes. Donna has left. Isaru Dulu. These monkey little fellas just get ready for, get ready for the yeah. journey ahead. What time is it on the stream, man? Ah, One it's that time, guys. I can't believe it. The, yeah, they're going so fast. Uh, well, to be honest, I'm getting a bit freaked out if time is no longer operating normally because it feels like I've been on the stream for about half hour. I'm just yeah. settling in, about to get started. We've done not a tremendous amount. Yeah. <laughs> you think that people would have speed run at this point. Yes. Yeah. The entire game. Um, time is just going crazy fast, and it's the same as the fact we've been here a month in Thailand. It literally feels like I've been here a week and a half, ten days max. Yeah, it's crazy. When I was in Portugal, it felt long. How can we slow time down? Though? I don't know. Time's moving too fast. Why is that really? Should My life is spiraling away in front of me. <laughs> Donna is every mean girl in every nineties film, and I'm living for it. Yeah, I do like the mean girls. Also, well, do you guys find yourself drawn towards the dead in the eyes characters? I say this because Brie very much is, like Peak from Attack on Titan. Uh, <laughs> uh, who are some other like really dead in the eyes characters? You know when they're just like, they're just yeah, there's just sort of no life going on. So just, why do I not get anybody then? Real, real, like real stoic. Huh? Why not like that? Dead in the eyes. <laughs> You are until someone looks at you, and then you and then you try to fake it. Just lead with how dead you feel inside, man. And you will get the ladies. Dating like advice for Ginge. That's like that. If anyone's got any, where should Ginge for Quent to find himself a woman? <laughs> what kind of places? <laughs> I'm back alley. <clears throat> oh yeah, Mobius had a whole ten side story. I did actually play a little bit of that. I remember playing playing some of that. Yeah. Time does feel like it's speed and an actual pace these days, man. Even for me, mm. it is happening for others. Yeah. Yeah. What's, yeah. It's... What's going on? And they did actually say that uh, the Earth span faster than it ever had in history um, this year, and that scientists were surprised by it. Now, when they said how much it spun more by, it was like zero point, you know, something ridiculous. Um, where was it? Earth span. Faster. How many Earth has actually been speeding up for a few years now? It set its new record no less than 28 times. Uh, this trend looks to continue in 2022. But scientists are yet to agree on why Earth's spin is speeding up. It's interesting Everything's just speeding up, man. Speeding up. Could it possibly have some minute effect on our... But that would make clocks work fast, Our perception it, of time? And this clocks are affected. They're not affected by the earth spinning faster as well, are they? So it's like... Maybe they are. Who fucking knows? I think scientists know. I yeah. think they know. <laughs> right. Hippies would say we're moving on to a faster timeline of evolution and progression. Um, the end is nigh. <laughs> the end has been nigh in every generation forever. Yeah, we haven't had any um, yeah, sort of yeah. apocalyptic events, have we, yeah. at the moment? They usually I would, get one, like... Yeah, I would miles. love to have an excuse to run around with a big bell yelling, the end is nigh! <laughs> <They're> nigh. <laughs> How would you want the end to be nighed? The best way for the world to end. The thing is, when they say the world ends, Nothing ever truly gets it, but like, yeah, never truly everything ends. gets like completely destroyed, does it? There's always there, there, there's, there, there's, there's a little side of me that is curious to see a solar flare happen, pop out from the sun, take down our electrical grid, hmm. go through probably about ten years of purge nights because shit will go crazy. Uh, yeah, it would, and then see what happens at the end when we emerge into a brighter new world, and we end up. Dressed like these characters, calling Machina sin. Yeah. I'm all game for that. Anyway, I'm starving. Mm. Do you guys smoke grass before you play? No. When you say grass, is grass just weed? I feel like grass... Yeah, I think it is. It's something, it? something different, right? Well, I've known it to be something different. <laughs> uh, but no, we, we, I can't smoke weed and be on stream. Maybe I can. 
Nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'd feel, it doesn't want to risk it. I'd feel discombobulated. And I also we don't, joke about it. I don't like smoking early mornings. Yeah. Or early in the day. I used to a bit, but it falls off a cliff really steep. We've yeah, joked we, about it a few times. We'd be like, should we go on string? Shall we do it? <laughs> Shall we at some point just get absolutely blazed off our noodles and uh, stream some weird game in the evening? <laughs> you will spin hard. That's enough for wood. Do you not? Do you think no. you guys should be chill? Well, because they're a chill really bunch, aren't they? Yeah, these guys are so yeah, chill. I know these guys. So. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy, easy. <laughs> Maybe like five or six years ago, if you put me on. Like, yeah. First, I would have been like... Yeah, but I, I took a really big smoke, uh, break for smoking all throughout cycling and all throughout America. Uh, but yeah, it was a surprise. I wasn't expecting to smoke out here at all, but Thailand made it legal a few months ago. And the second that monkey bit me, I was like, blaze up, blaze up, blaze up, blaze up. <laughs> I'm like, there's a legitimate reason to have a smoke. Like when you've yeah. actually got like a medical thing going on, yeah. it's like, wow. <laughs> and it helps that it's actually legal out here now as well, isn't it? <laughs> But thank you to everyone who tipped and subbed. We had Claire Redfield jump aboard. Green Rick. Rick. Um, did a double. Double tip a root. Uh, oh, and Vin Vincent. 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 Mr. Vincent. Oh, and Silence fans to see. Or sub as well. Thank yeah. you. Well, anyway, we will be back tomorrow. tomorrow. At the same time. Same time, same place. Same level of suck. Hopefully we'll get it right at some point. <laughs> We ain't wiped yet. We haven't wiped yet. We haven't no. wiped yet. Yeah, and I think I'll get the sphere grid in order and actually make a plan so we don't waste too much time. But anyway, peace out. Peace out, Your guys. beautiful mofos. Have a good day, evening, afternoon, night, wherever you are. If uh, you're going to be going to bed soon or if you're waking up with your delicious, smooth-skinned, scrumptious, voluptuous partner next to you, just roll over. Give me a little smooch behind the ear. Say, that's from Final Fantasy Pez. That's from Pez. That's from Jim. <laughs> See how turned on they get. Report back to us tomorrow. <laughs> it's because of you saying, oh, Pez and Jim, just a heads up. Malaysia is going to bite anyone who smokes weed from Thailand, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, none in Malaysia. And actually, I'll be healed from this by then, so I'm, I'm actually kind of happy outside of that uh, for not. Yeah, take it easy. Nice. My beautiful Pezzies, good old Pep, until tomorrow, and then we will play some more on the weekend. Yes, we'll yeah. Play around the clock. yeah, we'll just do it the weekend as yeah, well if you yeah. guys are around, or you will be. See you later. Bye. You mind me touching your laptop with my... No, don't do it with that, no. I'm going to touch your laptop with no. my foot. No. <laughs> <laughs>